So we're going to continue with building the Twitter splash crane. So what we're going to do is add the mask. Something we should do as well is just uh, building and run so you can see the view, so how it is without the mask. So this is what we would have, which looks like a Twitter timeline, and then we're going to add a mask. And we're going to do that right here by adding, so we're going to assign this mask to the layer, then the mask of the image view. So we're going to write mask, as simple as that. We're going to save and then build and run again. There you go. So now you can see that we have this mask, which is the Twitter logo. It's not very easy to distinguish because for now, so the, the view, the background color of the view is white. What we're going to do next is apply the Twitter brand colors to the view. So right here, I put a comments. I'm going to show you to take you to one website that I found online, which gives you all the brand colors of different um, popular brands. And we're going to look for Twitter right here. So this is where you have the color. And in Xcode, this is what we get. We're going to take the RGB color. So you could find any converter online in order to convert an X value into RGB. And we're just going to translate that into RGB right here. So we're going to write self view background color and we're going to use the function UI color and that's going to be red. So in CG float. So I got the value 85 divided, divided by 255.0 in order to return a value, a float value between 0 and 1. And then it's 172. So we're going to write 172, 255.0, and for the alpha, we're going to keep it 1 in order for it to be fully opaque. So we're going to save that and run. And now this time you're going to be able to see, oh, I made six, um, my bad, sorry. For the last value, it's going to be 238. <laughs> so for the, the value, the Twitter brand color, it's going to be 85 for the red, 172 for the green, and then 238 for the blue. I was just maybe distracted, like, let's see now this time you're going to be able to see, here you go, so the Twitter brand colors. So next what we're going to do is animating this logo so it can expand, zoom in to reveal the timeline. That's going to be the next step.